to our channel. <laughs> so we are currently posted up in Quartzsite, Arizona. And we are at um, a bus life festival. And tonight... Is we... Lola's favorite night. She's gonna eat all the leftover foods. <laughs> no, she's not. She's, she's gonna, gonna try to. Rains out. Do that. Tonight is... Potluck. Potluck night. But everybody's making a little something something and... Let me show you what all... we're making. Let me show you what we're, we're making. We're all gonna share. Let me show you what we're making. We're making Kaylee's Famous. Can you name it? Can you name it? Lentil, lentil chili. We got it going. We got the peppers over here. Just waiting for the lentils to cook a little bit and then the peppers are going in the chili. The peppers. So getting to Quartzsite was definitely a little bit of an adventure. We made some pit stops along the way that were awesome. So we first woke up in... Where were we? Joshua Tree National Park. Oh, yeah. So we stayed in BLM land, which is public land, and it was just south of Joshua Tree National Park. Uh, it's 6 a.m. right now. I just woke up. Kaylee's still sleeping in bed. And we're parked in the middle of nowhere right now, in the middle of some desert, and there's nothing around. Can't really show you, but you can see the sun is just starting to peek up over this ridge over here. And we're gonna try to find an amazing view to watch the sunrise. So the sunrise is in about 50 minutes. So we're running out of time, so we gotta get rolling here. So I'm gonna get driving while while Kaylee right over here keeps sleeping. So let's go. So we explored Joshua Tree a little bit. This was our second time there, so we didn't stay too long. Um, but if you guys, any of you guys have a chance to go, make sure you go for sunrise. You wanna know what I learned about Joshua Tree? What's do, you want, do you know the story about the Joshua Tree? No, what is it? It was named the ugliest tree in existence, the Joshua Tree. And those are the kind of trees that are at Joshua Tree? Yeah, that's why it's called Joshua Tree, because the Joshua Trees are at the Joshua so who's Tree Joshua? National Park. Who's Joshua? <laughs> so we spent some time in a huge cactus garden, and Kaylee was doing some yoga in there, and I figured it was a good time to use this camera, so I whipped the camera out and was videotaping her doing some yoga, and just stepped on like 15 cactuses while I was doing it. <laughs> shot straight to Quartzsite, Arizona, which is where we are now. It was like two hours, it wasn't too bad of a drive. <laughs> nope. Drove through, hey, just some flat. Hey, okay. Lola. She wants to go play with all the other puppies uh, out there. There's so many puppies. And they're all male and they're all chasing around. I'm like, that's my daughter, don't treat her like a piece of meat. <laughs> but so it was all just desert land, and we drove, and it was a really nice drive. So you know you're in Quartzsite, Arizona when there's no more houses and there's only RVs. And cactuses. Kaylee, <laughs> Kaylee loves the cactuses. We're in a town full of RVs, thousands and thousands and thousands of RVs. We have Schoolie Palooza going on right now, which is all school bus conversions. Yep. And then RTR, which is Rubber Tramp Rendezvous, I think. Rubber Tramp. Something, yeah, yeah. Something like that. Yeah. So we, we came to Schoolie Palooza first and there's some interesting people here. Yeah, there is. So the first guy that we met that came and hung out in our bus was... His name is Giuseppe. Giuseppe. Super awesome guy. His bus was probably one of the coolest buses we've seen yet. So you go into his bus and he has um, his door that swings open. It says free tea and you walk in and he even serves menus and you pick out what tea you want and he makes a tea and you sit and, and just chat with him. Come on for some tea. Yeah, come on in. Wow. I've got a menu, you guys wanna help oh me God, make some tea? Yeah. What? Tea. I'm gonna order some tea. You wanna order some tea with so, me? How long did the conversion take or is it just ongoing? 10 years. I moved into it the day I bought it. It was just a little empty yellow school bus. The seats have been taken out, but that was it. Uh -huh. um, I just had a sleeping pad and a backpack and a sleeping bag and I slept on the floor. <laughs> he built this bus, it's 99% reclaim materials that he's gotten from dumpster diving yeah and he dumpster dives for everything in the bus he dumpster dives for all this food because this bus so much of this is salvaged this is 99 percent salvaged wood um only two pieces of wood in here aren't salvaged and that's the plywood on the bed it's 75 percent salvaged hardware including screws plumbing latches fixtures oh. everything has like a little story like this piece of wood 
was part of a cabin that my great-grandfather built in Maine. What, did we decide we're all going with the hibiscus high? Yeah. Does that sound I good know. to people? Yeah. Yeah. It sounds really yeah. good. I'm just going to make a big yeah, a big I'm pot of it. Yeah, going to whatever you do. That's like the first thing someone does in a vehicle this size is they put a bed, like a king yeah. or a queen often in the back, and that's like most of the living space. Yeah. I just had a friend walk in and he was like, I could totally see a bed that lowers from the ceiling right here. And I was like, man, I have no idea how to do that. The the pulley system was really the solution for me, like literally, be mostly because I invite the entire world into my home. Yeah. Right. So it's like, I literally, I have people I've just met 30 seconds before and my, my bed was originally the only, the main seat. It was across the back down here, it was uh -huh. a twin bed. And that was, but you know, Choosing whose butt is on your bed kind of <laughs> is, can be nice, you know. It's we have a lot of butts in our yeah. bed. We have a lot of butts in our bed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always digging in dumpsters, thrift stores, just anywhere to get find stuff. So, um, what's the next project that you're gonna do? I'm working on a convection heater. The way this works is this is a uh, this is just a copper downspout from a gutter, and it uh, it's next to the wood stove. So it gets heated by the wood stove. The air in it gets heated, which causes it to rise. Okay. And it's vented all the way down to here. And so it sucks the coldest air into the bus, it, it, from the bus into that tube, and it creates a mini convection current. Wow. So that helps to bring a lot of that heat down because it's sucking cold air in, which has to be replaced by warmer air. Grab the top and bottom. I don't think anybody. Might be the best way with these little Thank cups. You. <laughs> so then after Giuseppe, we went over and saw this guy named Jax Austin who is another really unique guy. Jax is like the OG, like the original bus life guy. I know the schoolie thing's been going on for a while, but he started pushing it out on social media. He was one of the first ones, and we had to go in and say hi because we watch his YouTube channels. So this yellow school bus right behind me is a guy named Jax Austin. I know who he is because I watch his videos on YouTube, but I don't think he knows who I am, so we're gonna go say hi. Check out the outside of this thing. It's fully wrapped. Uh, these are all. This is all one big decal. It's not a. Uh, it's not paint or anything. But never, never seen outside of a bus like that before. So let's go see what's inside. Yo, what's up, bro? <laughs> what's up Jack? How are you? Yo, what's up? Are you gonna give us a little tour? Please come on in. Welcome to Dan the Adventure Bus. Dan the Adventure Bus. All That's right. right. Uh, got everything in here except the mortgage. <laughs> well, Jax is a fellow YouTuber. You can see he's got his camera all set up over here. This guy makes videos like no one's business. He puts out a video like every single day and I have no idea how he does it. I, I, I pretty much one shot wonder. I don't really retake a lot of stuff. I just go for it. Yeah. If there is a, you know, a slip up or I misspeak something. You just put it in there because that's who that's, you are. Okay. Well, I bought it almost two years ago. Okay. In February of 2016. The reason was I just, I wanted to travel. I, it was, this was, it was an idea that I came up with. It was within my budget. I figured if I could pay 40 bucks for a place to sleep, eat, and poop, then I can pay 50 bucks and travel full time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I threw a toilet in the vintage trunk over here. Oh my God. Um, I have an outside heated shower. Sleeping bag goes in the front. Shoes over there. Um, little plastic bins for storage and stuff. Little organization little, for your clothes and yeah, whatnot. Yeah, so like, you know, food stuff. Yeah. Um, nice and organized so it doesn't like fly around when you're driving. Totally. You know what that's like. Yeah. Okay. So under here is all where all the power is. Got it. I have 300 amp hours, um, AGM. Yeah. Uh, two six volts. That means you don't have to vent it and you can just <laughs> Correct. it right in there. Yeah. That's the way to go. 2000 watt inverter. That's powerful. Yeah. Uh, and then I have a 50 amp charge off of the alternator, which is awesome. I need that. You definitely need it. It's only 50 bucks. Yeah. It's it's a lifesaver. Uh, let's go check out the roof. Let's do it. That's one of my How do you get favorites. up there? Is there a ladder? Yeah, out oh. here. Up on top is uh, what I like to call Milan. <laughs> <laughs> Just sounds fancy. Except for you don't need a lawnmower. Yeah. <laughs> no lawnmower required, no watering required, yeah. no sunlight required. Yeah, I have 320 watts of uh, AM solar up here. Nice. Great company, great panels. Yeah. So make sure you check out Jack Sawson's channel. I'm gonna link it down below. Uh, he has a ton of videos. He was like the OG of like the schoolie vlogs. Oh no, I just touched my eye and it has jalapeno juice all over it. No, I told you not to do that. Oh. Which one? Right one. Can you Should lick it? Look? Lick it, lick it, lick my eyeball. Lick my, no, the right, no, my right one, my Dude, right. I'm not licking your eyeball. That's how you get the juice out. Oh, do you guys know that Kaylee gave me a haircut today? Oh God. Look at this. Oh my God. We didn't make a video about it this time because we just didn't. But if any of you guys know how to cut hair and are in or around Quartzsite, any, Arizona. Any tips or tricks? Hit us up. 
Not even tips or tricks, because you can cut my hair. Yeah. We're um, going to RTR tomorrow. Yeah. And we're super pumped for it. So everyone that's at RTR, we're there. Because yeah. when you see this, we'll be there. Come find us. Yep. We're in a YMCA school bus. Yep. Can't miss it. Yep. We'll see you guys next time. Adios. Peace.